We are now going to look at the nitrile hydrolysis in basic solution to give an amide. So hopefully by now you do know how to make a nitrile, one that I've used previously in these mechanism videos, is this particular nitrile. Now if you add to it, instead of acid in water, you add base in water, you're going to get a very different result. If you used acid in water, you made a carboxylic acid. If you use base, you're going to end up with an amide. So what happens here is you do have a hydroxide present that acts as a nucleophile, and it will act as a nucleophile toward the pseudo-carbonyl carbon. These pair of electrons will add to the carbon and you will break the pi bond between carbon and nitrogen. Now, this nitrogen is going to pick up a proton from the water in the solution because it's got a negative charge right now. So we are balancing charge by doing this, but we've made an amino acid. Not amino, but I for amino acid. It's not the same as, as an amino acid. It's amino acid. Because it's an amine. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to remove a proton. And we're basically going to do a proton transfer through solvent from the oxygen to the nitrogen. So this OH group is going to remove the proton from the oxygen and give electrons back to the oxygen. And as that happens, this pair of electrons here will come in and make the carbon-oxygen double bond. Carbon can't have five bonds, so the carbon-nitrogen bond breaks. So that was the proton transfer from solvent, uh, sorry, to solvent. Now we're going to do it from solvent. So this nitrogen now needs an a proton, so it will use its electron pair to pick up this proton and give electrons back to the oxygen. And we've succeeded at doing this. We've now made the amide from the nitrile.